be difficult. Let's start again with our friends the 10 frames. Here we have four lots of 10. So we will have taught our students previously uh, this sort of thing. Four tens is the same as four multiplied by tens. We give it the name 40. We can see four keeps coming up in the name of it and how we write it down and so on. So if we were to say how many tens equal 40, of course the answer will be four and that's really simple. If the students were in doubt about that, it wouldn't take much practice for them to get that. And looking at the 10 frames, that's certainly pretty obvious. Let's move on to the slightly more difficult question, which is dividing by five. 40 divided by five equals, so we could say to our students, how many fives can you see? Where can you see fives? So students should be able to see quite easily there are five in this column. There's another five there, another five, another five, and so on. And so I suspect what they might do first off is to count the number of fives and go, well, look, there's eight, that must be the answer. But we can draw our students' attention to the fact that each group of 10 is made up of two fives, and every 10 has two fives. So if we know the number of 10s, what would we get if we doubled it? So if we take that number and double it, look what we get we get 8. And of course that works for any multiple of 10. So we could go further than this, say here's an example, 130 divided by 5, what would the answer be? Well it's going to be double 13 or 26. So it works for any multiple of 10. All right, so far so good. What if we're not doing a multiple of 10? So if I take five of these away, so we now have 35 divided by 5. Could we do the same thing? Well it turns out yes we can. Because we could say how many 10s do we have? We've got three 10s here. How much of a 10 is the 5 on the end? Well it's half a 10. So what if we took three and a half and doubled that, what will we get? Well double three is six, double a half is one, so of course double three and a half is seven. So the strategy works whether it's um, a number ending in zero or a number ending in five. None of that's too difficult. 